The Newman Chapel was built just under 100 years ago. And although there had gone through different renovations, uh, we had come to the point where we required major repairs to make it more accessible. And there was a strong desire also to restore it. And we wanted to do that, but there was a problem. We didn't have the money to be able to sustain the project. I remember when I first walked into this chapel um, about five years ago now, I'd studied the, uh, the Gothic architecture in history classes and um, I knew what the sight line of the arch was supposed to do and it was supposed to kind of direct the eye towards, um, towards God um, as a community that it was about God meeting the people and the people meeting God. When I walk into the chapel now, the architecture does what um, it's supposed to be doing, that it's a place now for me to pray. Despite the desire to realize this project, we just didn't have the money for it. I went to a friend of mine and he recommended that I go to Joseph. So with that confidence and that idea in my head, I went online and found a devotion to St. Joseph called the Holy Cloak. So after 30 days of praying this devotion, I received a phone call from the Archdiocese informing us that we had been the, ben the beneficiaries of this great estate to be able to realize this project. We know that uh, most uh, Catholics uh, lose their faith uh, during their, their years uh, at university. Part of that, of course, is going to be students uh, being at a rebellious point in their lives. What a place like this does for us, in addition to the chapel, and we have two things. We have the presence of God in the chapel, and we have community. So here for Millennials at University, we've been told our whole lives that there's nothing sacred in life, both by the university, but by the culture as well. So here at the Newman Chapel, we're telling Millennials something different. We're telling them that there is something sacred in life, and that here is a place that they can come and encounter God, who is here present in the tabernacle, and they can encounter Him in His fullness, in this, if they allow Him, this will not leave them unchanged. For these reasons, we have a lot of joy and gratitude in our hearts to the Lord and to St. Joseph for taking care of our community and to the benefactor for this great man who loved the Lord and the church so much that he left his material possessions for the building above the kingdom of God.